Two great leading lights of a very important rock era in Australia, entertainment era in Australia, generally Daryl Braithwaite, and also from the Ted Mullery gang, it's great to welcome Herm Kovac. We welcome them both to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Daryl, nice to see you again. Thank you. The boys are here for um, a very special reason. I mentioned Herm, a uh, drummer with the Ted Rull uh, Mul Mulry gang. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And uh, it's, it's for, actually, Ted that we're here today. Ted, not only one of the, the great performers uh, in Australian rock history, but also one of the nicest blokes. And I guess that's the sort of thing you like to say about people when they're ill. In his case, he is ill. But if he were not, and God willing that he will not be ill for too much longer, um, you'd say it anyway, because he's one of the great blokes, isn't he, Daryl? He... Uh he is he's a lovely man. I was just um, looking through a book last night that we did for the tour um, around Australia in 80 days. And, this one? Uh, well, th that one and also there was another one that we had out and uh, there's some great photos in there, especially of Ted. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ted, I think, like is placid, good sense of humour, but... Um, just remains the same, just yeah. Yeah, all the a time. A good bloke. Yeah. Just to explain, if you will, Herm, uh, what's happened. I know he was going to be on the show here last July and had to cancel because all of a sudden the news was not good. Yeah, well, he rang me, had the bags packed. Actually, we're coming to Melbourne for two weeks and uh, rang me the night before, said it was cancelled. He went to hospital. They took a tumour out of the adrenal gland and about a month later they um, took one from the brain and now they're just sort of trying to clean up and uh, mm -hmm. get him. So up. he's not been able to work obviously and he's been nah, through he's rough been times. That, for a while yeah, either. that goes without saying. And uh, a group of friends, good friends in the industry are, are behind him. There are a couple of uh, important dates which we're talking about this, uh, this morning. Uh, it's Gimme Ted, a benefit for Ted Mulry and it's going to be at the uh, the Fox Centre in the Fox Studios. Studios. What's the name of the uh, specific uh, place where you're playing? City Live, I think. City Live, that's right. Mm. And it's uh, it's next Friday week uh, and Saturday week, the 9th and, yeah. and the 10th of, uh, of March and tickets through Ticket Taken. Bob might put up the, the number now. It's a Sydney number, 02 uh, 92664800. And who's going to be performing on that night? Well, um... Oh. Sherbet have formed. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. We are. Um, You'll be there. Autumn. Yes. Uh, a reforming. Who I when I heard that Autumn were doing with Tony Romerel. I remember him from uh, oh, when we used to compete in Hoadley's Battle of the Sounds. Mm -hmm. So it goes way back. And then uh, there's also been, I think, uh, a guitar donated by uh, ACDC AC or yep. Malcolm. Yep. Um, TMG are playing, of course, with, without Ted, and I think Ted's brother. Yep, Noise Works, Rose Tattoo, Billy Thorpe. Right. Will Ted be well enough to come to the uh, one of the nights? Um, hard to say at the moment. It's hard to say. Yeah. Like, he, it's up and down. You I know, know if, he, if he could, he would certainly oh, get there. Oh, definitely. You know. And Daryl, you're singing with the other boys? Yeah, yeah we're doing uh, three songs, I think we're doing. Mm -hmm. The whole of... Well, it'll include... Um, Clive Shakespeare as well, because yep. he was the original guitarist, and also Harvey, and uh, really looking forward to it. I mean, it's uh, it's it's a, a great reason to get back together again to, to help Ted, and I think um, we'll be surprised how many people will actually attend these two nights. Mm. I think it'll be mammoth. I'm sure it will be, and I think the interesting thing always with a, a night or an occasion such as this is that you've got a group of entertainers, uh, musicians, uh, together for one specific reason and one specific person. And there's always a very special aura about a night like that because the audience plus the performers are, are there for one reason alone. You're not mm. worried about box office, you're not worried about what percentage you're getting. It's all going to the person in question, and in this particular case, uh, to Ted. And I reckon it'll be two top nights. You mentioned it's the, uh, the city... Uh, uh, the live, uh, the City Live nightclub at Sydney's Fox Studios. Actually, I might hold this up because it's got the phone number, but also it's got other relevant uh, information there too. Uh, it's your chance to uh, to also, if you want to, uh, to to log on and make a donation or write to that address with a donation of any kind. The matter is urgent, of course, because when all of a sudden someone, regardless of what you've been doing uh, in for a career, when all of a sudden something comes out of left field, not only are the expenses high. But there's no income, no, and, no, and I just think it's a good opportunity for everyone no. to get together. No, when no. he was last on the show, Ted, um, we, we reminisced, the two of us, uh, about times gone by and so forth. And it can be very easily forgotten. Uh, his contribution and the band's contribution to pop music in Australia was a, a very important oh. one. It must have been nice, actually, Herm, to be there, part of the nucleus. Well, I've been in the same band with him for 28 years, which is more than half my life. Mm. So it's, yeah been great and probably had 
two arguments with him in that whole time, so that shows what sort of guy he is. Well, he's very much a laid-back bloke, and also, of course, the, uh, the sort of music that was made and the fact that you stayed together for so long proves that it was a bit of fun for oh, you guys, yeah. too. Well, if that, that wasn't there, we would have stopped long ago. Right. Hope everyone gets behind it because it'll be, a, as I say, a terrific opportunity to help Ted out. And mm. also, the bonus is that you, you see this great show. What songs are you doing? Or did I wake you then? Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Sid? Yes. No, I was just actually thinking then, Bert. That <laughs> no, no, that's a very dangerous thing. I remember what you thought once before. Remember, we had a laughing right. fit, didn't we? I remember, no, I was going to say that um, I know people are flying in from Western Australia as well to see the show. Mm. I know something about my face that makes you laugh. I just look at you, <laughs> you and you laugh. I don't know whether it's a compliment no, or no. otherwise. If it's, um, people flying in. What songs? Uh, they're, they're coming from, and I know people are coming from Melbourne, and yep. I'm taking my son up to see it because he, uh, I want him to see what the 70s really was about. I mean, and I'm sure it'll be, as you were saying, it will have a different, it'll be ha a fantastic uh, aura there on that night. And, mm. uh, but no, the songs we're doing, I think we're, um, probably do How's That. Yeah, lovely, lovely. And I think a couple of, uh, a couple song, of others. that that first hit you had that Ted wrote for you, You're All Woman? Yeah, I know, I mentioned that to <laughs> Garth, that Dan, Dan, I've got to learn the guitar part But there wasn't enough keyboards in it, so he... No, no, we, do, oh, we might do okay. that, but it's a surprise. Have a cup Thank of coffee you. while we're having a bit of a chat here, just <laughs> organising the show. You've got to do that one because it's a great song. Oh, you're a woman. Uh, well, I know, oh. but I'm, I'm doing the very best I can to hide the no, fact. I know. We'll do that. And uh, what other one could we do? Are you going to do Diner? No, I don't think we'll do that. Oh, one. right. Okay. Oh. But we'll do maybe slipstream. You're like two old poofs at a wedding. Well, what's, the, what's the story? We'll, we'll put my phone number up we again. We used to share, talking of old poofs, we, we used to, to share call. room. Oh, did you and really? Share the room. Yeah. Yeah. What, was like, yeah. what was he like to live with? Horrible. I'd cook, he'd come home after the show and he just <laughs> didn't like the soup I made him. It was... I've got just made a picture really of you strolling. Off. What have you cooked today, darling? Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> what was he like to live with, or flat with? Uh, well, yeah, you were, no. He was all right. No, but he had, he was somewhere good. between yeah and no. Yeah, no, pretty good. If you want to ring through and uh, enjoy some great music on these nights and also obviously some top comedy, you dial through on 0292664800. That's 9266480. Let's cut once again to the serious bit. It is a chance to, uh, to help Ted and more importantly, or as importantly, for you to have a great night. Now, either of those nights, Friday or Saturday, at the City Live nightclub, Sydney's Fox Studios, tickets through Ticketek. And there, Bob's put up the phone number again. Thanks for coming. In guys and have two great nights, won't you? Good to see you. Thanks, Darrell. Good to see you.